Man, it legit feels so good to be back. I'm back right now, and I thought I'd make a video talking to all of the introverts out there. So if you're an introvert, I hope you watch this video all the way through, because back then I was, and I believe I still am a bit, but I try to cover it as much as I can. I was a massive, massive introvert. I was really shy all of the time. I avoided eye contact with people. I wasn't able to communicate properly. And this has stopped a lot of my growth because I felt that I was always missing something that other people used to have. And I wanted to just uh, uh, let other people accept me. You know, I had this feeling from inside where I wasn't satisfied with myself. And I always felt like there was something lacking inside of me. And uh, I was just shying away from every opportunity that came my way. And I didn't want to put myself out there to the world. And I was just pleased being an introvert. Uh, it was just something that I used to describe myself, uh, no matter what the situation was. Yeah, I'm an introvert. I don't want to go out because I'm an introvert. I don't have friends because I'm an introvert. And uh, I've reached a point where I felt that my life wasn't headed in the direction that I wanted to. And in order to head into this direction, I need to tap in to the power of being an introvert. So I no longer saw being an introvert as a problem. I saw it as a privilege and as an opportunity to use in order to understand myself more. So I spent most of my time with myself, reading more, understanding my mind more, and uh, just cultivating what I'm feeling, just feeling this emotion, you know? Once you tap into this uh, source of power, you will start understanding that you can start changing. You can actually do things in order to put yourself out there. If you're an introvert right now, you should lower your expectations. You don't have to become Mr. Popular by tomorrow. You don't want to become famous by tomorrow. Maybe you have one or two friends that you feel comfortable hanging around with, which is totally fine. Why do you even want to um, get this glamorous life? You know, it's just the way that you are vibing with yourself. If you are accepting of yourself and you feel that nothing is wrong with you, it's okay to be an introvert. You don't have to become uh, this uh, person that everyone knows and everyone wants to associate with as much as you feel that it's something missing from your life, but uh, it's not something that is going to drastically improve the person that you are because deep down inside, you will still be the same person. So focus more on changing your own character, changing the person that you are from the inside. And once you do this, it's going to immediately project to the outside and people are going to immediately notice that you have been improving yourself. You have been working on uh, a passion project of yours or no matter what you are trying to build or to create. And once they do this, they will immediately come to you and they will want to link up with you. So you will attract people rather than just chasing them. I was in this situation back then. I felt that I always needed to get other people's approval. You see, once you see people having fun, for example, or you walk by a restaurant, you see people um, hanging out with each other, laughing and enjoying their time. And I didn't have anyone to spend this time with. I didn't feel like I was able to belong in this environment. So I switched my mind to the point where I felt that I don't even want to integrate in this type of culture. I want to create my own personal space and I want to attract people to it. So I went to the gym. I took the training seriously. I started learning more calisthenics uh, tricks and things like that you know things where you can actually feel that you are growing and evolving and so once I've started taking my training seriously I really felt that people started to treat me differently people wanted to come up and talk to me when I was training they were asking me for tips uh, it was just a wholesome experience where people were uh, getting attracted to me so I didn't feel like I need to prove myself to people no my work was actually showing its value and its worth and it was attracting the potential people that were able to become my friends and this is how I met most of the people that I know right now and that uh, I'm really friends with for example I have a friend of mine shout out Farid if you are watching I've met him in the gym because I was doing muscle ups and he asked me how I was able to do them so it was just a matter of time until I have learned the skill where I was able to prove myself in a certain environment which has led to people wanting to come up and talk to me and I'm still from the inside the same person I'm still an introvert I don't like to be around 
a lot of people. I don't like big crowds. I would much rather prefer to sit at home and read a book than to spend the night out. So it's just a personality trait. And once you accept that this is your personality trait, you don't have to work against your uh, natural instincts. You just have to embrace them and use them to your own advantage. If you are an introvert, it doesn't have to be a negative thing. If you're an introvert, you don't have a lot of friends, don't tell yourself, I'm a loser, I can't get any friends, so I might uh, as well just eat some junk food, jerk off to porn, and then play some video games and call it a night. You can do this, and you will feel terrible, and you will feel ashamed of yourself, or you can say, okay, I'm an introvert, I'm gonna start my YouTube channel, I'm gonna talk about self-improvement, I'm gonna uh, learn how to edit videos, I'm gonna read more, I'm gonna go to the gym. You see how you have all of these alternative activities that you can do, which are going to make you proud and uh, feel that you are a productive introvert. You are no longer a person that is seeking validation from others, but you are actually using your time to reinvent and to recreate yourself into the person that you want to. And I think this is the best thing that you can do if you are an introvert. So stop looking at it uh, as a big problem that you need to conquer. So if you are locking yourself in your room 24-7, okay, maybe here you have a problem. But most of introverts have uh, a choice. They would much rather sit at home than be outside. So if the opportunity presents itself to go outside, don't say no to the opportunity. Just put yourself out there more. But just understand that if you feel much more comfortable in staying at home and doing something productive with your time, then go for it. There's nothing wrong with it because eventually you are going to recreate yourself. You're going to rebrand yourself into the person that you have in your mind because the things that you think about they are just thoughts. They are things that maybe you only see and you only feel. But once you start putting in action, it's going to show and people are going to see that and they will immediately want uh, part of it. So I hope that you understood this message and you can take it to heart and you can start actually doing something productive with you being an introvert and stop seeing it as a problem that you need to conquer and uh, that your life will magically become better and will become much more improved if you are no longer an introvert. No, because it's just not how it operates. You might become really popular but from the inside you are not satisfied so once you are really proud of the person that you are and the version of yourself that you are presenting to the world then you will start seeing progress and improvement in my opinion and through my own personal experience as well so i hope you found the video helpful if you did make sure you subscribe you hit the like button and you let me know what you thought in the comments so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace